Sort your PST. PST stands for Price, Sales Page, and Testimonials. You should start out by looking at other information products that are similar to yours and examine their sales pages thoroughly to get an idea of what they offer and how much they charge for their product. You don't want to charge too much more than the other people in your field. Now you need to start planning out the sales page for your product. Again, one of the best things that you can do is study the sales pages of your competition. You don't want to copy them, of course. You want to see what they offer and make sure that you present a more compelling offer. You also want to get an idea of how sales pages are structured. Starting at the top, you will see that sales pages often have large attention-grabbing headlines. Many websites use this type of headline because simply it works. The headline needs to be about the benefits that your product delivers. It needs to tell the customer what relief they can expect from buying your product. You also want a clear call to action, which tells the customer what to do. And you want it to be prominently displayed in several places on your sales page. This is very important. If the customer cannot easily figure out what to do next when they come to your sales page, they will hit the back button and you will likely lose them forever. The call to action would say something like, to lose that excess tummy flap now, click here to place your secure order via PayPal. You can also throw in a time element to make it more urgent or a scarcity element. And finally, on your sales page, you need to offer customer testimonials. How do I get testimonials? I haven't even started selling the product yet. Here's what you do. You give away copies of the product to a few people in exchange for their honest review. Most people are going to say something nice about your product. If you get a lot of criticism, then honestly you should rethink your product and probably make some changes, especially if they all mention the same thing, such as it wasn't explained clearly enough. If you don't know anyone personally who you feel would provide a good testimonial, you can go on an internet marketing forum and explain that you are creating a new product and would like to provide free copies to the first 10 people who contact you in exchange for their honest testimonial on it. In fact, before you ask for a testimonial, it's worth posting a few times, introducing yourself, and contributing to the conversation so that people can get to know you a little bit before you request a favor out of the blue. Do this for a couple of weeks, and you will learn a lot. Make good connections, and when you do ask for those testimonials, you will be much more likely to get a bunch of people responding favorably. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.